Hello everybody! In today's video, I'm going to tell you how to fix the error VMware Workstation and Device Credential Guard are not compatible. VMware Workstation can be run after disabling Device Credential Guard, which may appear when you start a VMware virtual machine. After another update for Windows 10, the VMware program stopped working and shows the error saying VMware Workstation and Device Credential Guard are not compatible. It happened because of the changes in account protection, and in this video we will analyze the problem and offer an effective solution. Hello, friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog, you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. This problem appears when you start the program and affects all versions of VMware Workstation beginning with 12.5. It results from the updated account protection. So this protection has to be disabled for the virtual machine to run properly. Uh, you can fix it by opening the local group policy editor. To do it, press the shortcut Windows plus R and type the command gpedit.msc in the run window. In the editor window that opens, look for computer configuration, administrative templates, system, and find the folder device guard. It contains two elements. Open the one with the name Turn on Virtualization Based Security. In the new window that opens, there are three items on the left. Check Disabled and click OK. Now that you are done with the editor, it's time to disable other components. Go to Control Panel, Programs and Features, Turn Windows Features on or off. Look for Hyper V. If it's checked, remove the selection and click OK. Don't hurry to restart the computer. There are a few things to do in the command prompt before you do that. Launch the command prompt as administrator. And to do it, type CMD in the search field, right-click on the best match and select Run as administrator. Type the following commands. After that, restart the computer and open the virtual machine. Now that the changes have been made, it should start without any errors. Another step is to edit the registry. If the error is still annoying you, try to disable virtualization-based security and credential guard in Windows Defender. Open the registry editor by pressing the shortcut Windows plus R and typing regedit in the run window. First, let's deal with virtualization-based security. To do it, navigate to the section HP Local Machine System Current Control Set Control Device Guard. Create a new value with the name Enable Virtualization-Based Security. Assign the value data 0. To disable Credential Guard in Windows Defender, open the following section in the registry. HP Local Machine System Current Control Set Control LSA Create a new DWORD value with the name which you see on the screen. To disable this component, Assign that value data 0. After that, restart the computer and check if the program works properly. Mm. 
Now you know how to fix the error VMware Workstation and Device Credential Guard are not compatible. And that is all for now. I hope this video helped you to solve the problem. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell button to receive notifications and never miss new videos. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck!